It's been an exciting and busy year around Hampton City Schools. We have a lot to be proud of with HCS being named winner of the 2017-2018 Digital School District Survey Awards. The award recognizes the division as being innovative in exemplary ways by investing in tools and learning models for the next generation learners. HCS has a 91.4% on-time graduation rate, the highest since 2008. Student participation in dual enrollment increased 500% since 2016, and students earned 3,714 credits this school year. Students also earned 1,373 industry credentials for 2016-2017. Freshmen in our high schools were part of freshman academies, including Success 101, a course designed to equip students with the study and social skills they will need to succeed in high school and in life. Finally, Governor Ralph Northam visited Kickapan High School to sign into law Senate Bill 775, a bill which allows children of a person on active military duty access to public schools tuition free. It specifically allows children in temporary housing to attend the school in their permanent residence. It also allows the children to finish out a school year in their present school if their parent is transferred. In addition to signing the bill, Northam had the opportunity to hold a brief question and answer period with students who were in attendance at the event. If you've missed any of this news, it's very easy to keep up with everything that happens around the division. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to HCS on social media. You can also follow the latest news by visiting the HCS website. We also broadcast school-related programming on our PEG TV channel. Before we go, here are some parting words from seniors who are graduating in 2018. What I would miss most about my high school experience will be NJROTC molding me as a person for me to strive and to push past my limits. I think I'm going to miss um, the teachers who have helped me through, um, my friends who I've gotten to get close with over the years, um, definitely soccer, um, just going out on the field, having fun. What I will miss the most is mostly um, spirit weeks, um, the football games, and the friends I have made throughout all of my years in high school. The thing that I think I'm going to miss most about my high school experience are the bonds that I have made with my friends and my teachers, um, especially performances on stage as well. I love having a stage presence and being in front of an audience. Um, and I've had a lot of opportunities to do that, and I've formed a lot of bonds with my administrators as well, so I'm going to miss them. Uh, after graduation, uh, August 7th, I am shipping to boot camp for the United States Navy, so that's that's going to be an adventure for the next four years, so I guess that's probably the, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to right now. Um, what I'm looking forward to at the graduation is being independent, um, to fight on my own, basically, um, to provide for my mother, even though I can't repay her for the last 19 years of my life. I'll be going to ODU to um, focus on mechanical engineering. Um, it's kind of a cluster of classes, but in the academy here at Kickatan, we have um, like drafting related classes, which really sparked my interest to go into mechanical engineering at ODU. I'm looking forward to going to William and Mary to study neuroscience, hopefully pre-med. So I actually have two favorite classes. There was ROTC and then there was art. ROTC broke me out of my shell. It gave me the sense of leadership. Art has built me a lot too. It's inspired me to like bring out my creative side. I've grown as an artist. Construction is my favorite class because it helped me get into an apprentice program for War Mechanical and it helped me choose where I'm at right now. Um, I'm most proud of getting my associate's degree during high school. I'm also really proud of being dance captain for my show choir. That really shaped who I was today and being at that leadership position affecting people. That really helped me. I'm really proud of the achievements that I've made at ROTC. I'm proud of graduating. I'll be graduating with highest honors this um, coming June. I'm proud of how proud I've made my mother and everybody else around me, like my community and things like that. I'm proud of being able to help others out. I'm proud of my story, my journey, how far everything has come, how far I've come as a person. Uh, what I'm most proud of is where I'm at right now, how hard I work with, and how my past was. I'm proud of what I did, what, I, what was my good decision, who I hang around with. I'm most proud of this year academically. Uh, the reason I say that is because the past three years I haven't been the best academic student. This year was my bounce back year 
And uh, my parents told me, hey, just make this year count, go out with a bang, and that's exactly what I did. Senior Chief Fields, uh, he always, you know, he treats all the cadets like we're his own. You know, he, he makes sure that we're well accommodated for. He pushes us to do the best we can. He doesn't let us settle for the bare minimum. My parents, most definitely, and I've had a few teachers, um, Mr. Durig and my old English teacher, Miss Cooper. Um, they have all taught me really valuable life lessons, and they've always been there to lend a listening ear and always given me really good advice on life in general.